What's going on everybody? This is Al from PlaybookGamer.com. In the last Dynasty video, we took on then number 12, Virginia, and ended up winning 31 to 17. We played a really clean game. We chewed up as much clock as we could. They had a really good backfield. We tried to keep the ball away from then as much as we could, and we done a really good job with that. And now we're third in the country. We're 4-0. We're off to an amazing start. And today we're gonna take a trip to Blacksburg and take on the Hokies of Virginia Tech. Now, we got a little bit more talent than they do. They've been one of the teams in the conference that have slowly gone down from the beginning. But they beat us last season, if I'm not mistaken. So I want to seek a little revenge here. As expected, they run the ball really well. They play pretty decent defense. So I kind of know what to expect, but we'll check out their roster a little bit and see how we're going to match up with them. Let's look at recruiting. Sergey Long did visit last week in the Virginia game, but he did not commit. The biggest reason was we still don't know what he likes. He's a soft verbal. I feel like we're going to get a commitment from him, but we need to continue to win in order to do so. But we just didn't get enough information on the guy. So we, there's nothing we could do at this point. Just keep pouring points on him and hope for the best. Now, David Roberts, the free safety, he is ready to take a visit. We're going to have him come as soon as possible. I mean, if we don't have him come for the Miami game, it's going to be five weeks after that, or four weeks, before we have a chance for him to come and visit. I want to get that out of the way, so let's have him visit Miami. And as you can see, we just don't know enough about what he's into yet. Uh, last but not least, Robert Madison, the guard. We're in great shape here. He just has it down to his top five. But we don't have a clue what he likes. That's the, one of the few downsides of only going after two to three players in the regular season is you just can't get enough uh, information on these kids. There's just not enough time because you put so many points on them. They're ready to come and visit fairly early. You just hope you can find a pitch that they like. But if you don't know, you're just guessing. But hopefully all the points you're dumping on to them will uh, overcome a lot of that. I wanted to look at the Heisman watch. Now, I no, don't normally do this every week, but when it affects us, I like to show it. And Horton has made the top five. But look who else he's with. He's with a quarterback, a wide receiver, and a halfback from Texas Tech, which is a bit ridiculous. But you know, in this game, Texas Tech, they always put up really good numbers every season. But it's interesting to see a halfback on there as well but in the air raid offense i mean if you know how to use your halfback well enough you can get them to be as just as important as everybody else on the roster but either way i thought it was neat to see horton on the list hopefully he continues to go up it let's look at the conference standings in our division it's now time to start thinking about this a little bit we're two and zero. we're at the top of it georgia tech is right there with us virginia tech they're already oh and two but it all comes down to us continuing to win. We need to beat Virginia Tech. We definitely need to beat Miami and Georgia Tech because those are our next two games coming up. Now let's check out our team info screen. John Red is out for two months. You got Gates, Horton, and Peterson. Horton is doing his thing. Our passing game is just, it's up and down a little bit this year. Gates, when he's feeling it, he is really good. He's probably as talented as any quarterback out there with a good arm. But then there's some games where he just makes really bad throws. Of course, I'm giving him a little bit more of a difficult passing game to work with, making more risky throws, but that's okay. But hopefully we can get that up and going. And of course, as much running as we do, it doesn't shock me that he's not putting up crazy numbers. Because all I care about at this point is just trying to win, and so far we're doing a good job of that. Now you look at the defensive leaders, Walkers, Nichols, and Azard. That looks a little bit more like it. I think Walker and McCoy will go back and forth on the tackles. I think Nichols... That's going to be his spot the rest of the year, and who knows what's going to happen with interceptions. Now, let's go over to Virginia Tech, and they have two offensive linemen out today. I'm assuming they're starters. We'll see here in a little bit. Starting quarterback, he's just doing okay. His uh, stat line looks really no different than Gates, and it looks like they have one guy. I'm assuming it's the same person. One player leading in rushing and in receiving. That's quite impressive. You look on the defensive side, they got one guy leading in tackles and sacks and just probably a handful of guys probably got an interception apiece. And they got beat pretty badly by number seven, Florida State. Before we head back into the video, I just wanted to point out a few things that I have in my store. Starting off with the memory cards for the PlayStation 2 that has over 20 named roster files for all of the NCAA football games from 02 up to 11. 
And then, of course, I have all of my books that I have written over the years from my latest one, the West Coast Offense, the Out Raid Offense, and you got the Big Book of Tight Ends, the Power Shoot. Then you got the I Option, P.E. Reed, Pro Dog, Run and Shoot, and so much more. So I will have a link in the top right and in the description below. All right, looks like we have an evening matchup in Blacksburg. Hi, everybody. Brad Nessler here. With Lee Should be a lot of fun. I always enjoy playing in this stadium. It's a very hard stadium to get a win in. Ooh, look, it's going to be kind of cold, but technically it's going to be good weather. They should show the division standings, and there they are. It's a big game for us. we got to win all of our division games to have a chance. I want to win the division this year. And here come the Hokies. One and two. And here come the Duke Blue Devils, third best team in the country. They're going to highlight Gates. I'd love to see him have a really good game today. Just be efficient. I don't need you to put up 500 yards. We're still probably going to run a lot. But, you know, do his job. That's the big thing. I assume they are going to pick us, and they are. Go to the coin toss. They want it, and they will receive, which is fine. There's no harsh wind. And let's check out their roster, see what we are dealing with. Starting quarterback, he's a bit of a dual threat guy. 76 speed, his backup is 86 speed. Thank the Lord this guy's playing instead of Whitaker. Hopefully Colt stays healthy today. You look at their halfback situation. Thank the Lord they don't have an impact player here. That would really worry me. Uh, Thompson and Lewis, they got two solid guys. Both of them look pretty much the exact same type of halfback. You look at the fullback, nothing there. Wide receiver, impact player. So this may mean they will throw a little bit more. But I know by the fault in the coaching profile, Virginia Tech really loves to run the ball. So we'll see what happens with that. Not a whole lot of talent behind their top receiver, though. Just a bunch of guys in the early, I mean, they look like a Mac group there. You look at the tight end, 74. They got a one wide receiver that can technically play some tight end. But I'm not going to expect much from this guy. Offensive line, 72, 70, 91, and he's out today. 78 and 80, so not a whole lot there on the offensive line. Man, if our front four could put some pressure on that front line, then I think we got a good chance of winning. You look at their defense. Now, they run a 4-3, uh, 88 and 90 on the edge. That's really good. 85 and then a bit of a drop-off at the defensive tackle. You look at their linebackers. 78, impact middle linebacker. We'll try to stay away from him today and 85 at right outside linebacker. You look at their corners, 89, 85, 80, not too bad. You look at their free safety, really good, 89 overall. He's an impact player, 90 speed. And their top strong safety is out today for two quarters. He'll be in here in the third quarter. So if we can get a good lead by halftime, that's going to help because he's going to come in, I'm sure, and make an impact because that's a very fast, strong safety. I'd love to have this kid, even though he's kind of short for my liking. Kicker, 59 overall. Freshman, not very good, and they got a pretty good punter. All right, let's get this show on the road. They got an impact player on the left. We're going to kick it over here. Should be a decent one. Somebody make a nice clean tackle. There we go. Good looking updated uniforms, whoever done Virginia Tech's. Kudos to you. Let's do, uh, let's do a zone blitz. I'm curious to see how much they're going to run today. I just don't know what to expect, to be honest. Play action. Only picks up a couple yards there. And I forgot, they got a quarterback that can run a little bit, so I need to be careful on those blitzes. Let's go quarters. Looks like their offense is struggling this season. That's when you hit him. Do something like this, perhaps. We'll take that any day of the week. So it is, what, third and seven? Yes, third and seven. We're going to go fly out. I'm not going to spy just yet. Let's see how he handles four guys coming at him. I've got the middle of the field. Wide open over the middle right there. Good defense, Walker. Didn't know what he was going to do there. So that's a good start. We're going to try to get a decent return on this one. 
I'd like to have good field position so we can try to get down the field and score for the first time today. That's a good punt right there. Man, that's how you flip the field. Somebody get a block right there. All right, we are on the right hash. Uh, do I need to make any adjustments here? I can put our tight end situation there. Let's go slam with Horton. I think it's in our best interest just to go to our best player for a while. Man, 4-3, what we can do. You don't have to uh, motion people. I was talking to a friend about that yesterday. That's good defense. You don't have to use motion. It helps a little bit in your run game. It's up to you how you want to do that. Let's go. I'm on the road. This better not be a good idea. Let's go. Let's do a toss play with Pero. Sometimes I'll use motion, other times not. But yes, uh, I, I did agree with him. If you want to have a bit of a challenge, don't motion as much. At least in your run game. So uh, let's just go ahead and snap it. Face mask. Didn't call it. All right, so this is going to be a third and long situation. Let's see if we can handle this. They're going zone nickel. A little worried that I'm going to be throwing towards that free safety. Let's just go ahead and snap it. Terrible throw. Very fortunate that wasn't intercepted. He overshot it. I didn't put any English on it or nothing like that. I probably should have threw a little bit earlier, but that's still... Uh, I guess that could have been decent. So I guess that's a good play by the free safety. So that was probably more on the free safety than the quarterback. All right, we'll punt it. That's not the start we wanted, but that's okay. Let's see if we can kick this. That's a pretty good punt right here. That's a good way to flip the field. I'm going to stay back here just in case. Good hit. And we'll get back on defense. Let's go cover two man. One of the reasons why I like to use motion if I can is because if the defense is allowed to shift, I don't see why I can't do it myself. There he goes. Ugh. Broke a tackle. Ended up getting a good gain off of that one. Let's call the same one. We'll do something like this, perhaps. Don't run to the left. Run it to the left. Pick up a solid eight yards there. Let's go quarters. Second and two. So far, they're playing better than us. Do something like this, perhaps. Let me do something like... Oh, they're going to play action, doing that PE wide receiver in. Ah. I should have let the CPU handle that when he probably would have tackled him. Good pick up there. We can go back to man. Let's see. Looks like they're going ace twins. I'm going to leave everything as is. So far, they've been pretty balanced in their play calling. He's got a mm, good hit. He still picks up three or four. Uh, let's go man again. Do something like this, perhaps. Play action. Ah, oh, man. Just a good man beater over the middle. So our defensive line is not getting any pressure on him. Let's do quarters. First and ten. And this is the sixth play of the drive. The Hokies. Come we'll do an over ways. front. I don't know what my defensive tackle's doing there. Just gonna stand straight up. Throw on first down. Intercept that. In Big play right there. Big play by Gallagher. Man, we needed that. Now we're in a bad spot. We're on the three. Just a great play by Gallagher. Got right in front of it. Otherwise, that was probably going to be a touchdown. Let's do something. Let's go slam. I'm going to see if I can just try to get up the field a little bit with Horton. This is kind of worrisome where we're located. Let me go this way. Yeah, that could have been really bad. <laughs> that could have been a disaster. We're on the two. We can maybe bail ourselves out if we do a direct. It just... Looks like they're blitzing that right nickel. Just don't shift to the left. 
Ooh, okay. Ooh, we'll take it. Offsides. That helps a little bit, so that gets it to what? Second and something. Second and six. Where are we? Are we still on the right hash? That's an easy way to pick up yards. Uh, let's go slam. I, I want to run again. I'm trying to get out of our end zone. Then we can open up the, the offense a little bit. I like that shift. I'm going to leave it as is. Let's go ahead and snap it. Good pickup right there. Just get a stiff arm from Horton. Let's go with tight end delay. We're going zone. I may have to make an adjustment too. I don't think Gay can hear this. He can't hear that. He can hear that at least. I may just have to go to Parker. Hopefully Parker's fast enough to make this play. I got hit as soon as I threw it. Left tackle got beat big time. Very fortunate we didn't get sacked. Let's, the uh, second and nine, let's go. Let's throw the ball. We're going man. And he's on him. What I may would try to do, do something like this. At least our wide receivers can hear this. I'd love for them to go cover zero. I'd love to go to Riley. They're going to go cover one. Good throw. Good job by Gates. Oh, third and inches. We didn't get it. Now let's do a direct again. This may be a mistake. They usually do a good job on these third downs here. That shift did not help things. Uh, I'm going to bring the other guy. Ooh, we're going to get the touch first down. All they had to do was blitz there on the right side, and I wouldn't have gotten it. So first to 10. Uh, let me think here. Let's go. Let's pass it. We're going zone. We'll just go to Peterson on the right. Good throw to Peterson, but he got stuck. Mm. We got a few yards. Not a whole lot. I'm going to go... Uh, I need to call more stuff from this formation to just toss the Pero. I'll do that eventually, but right now, let's see if we can get him off the edge. Ooh, I like the shift. We're going to leave it as is. Ah, dang it. The clock went out. That was a perfect opportunity right there. So, nothing to nothing in the first quarter. Let's head into the second. We're going man here. Ooh, I like the shift. We got lucky. Let's see if we can get good blocking. Had to get that one off quick. That may be six points. I don't know if that safety can get him. It'll be close. Good pursuit. Saved a touchdown. Good play there. We're on the nine-yard line. Let's go. Halfback angle. We're going man. We're going to go to Myrick here. Hopefully this will be a decent throw. Oh, and he's double teamed. Interesting. Oh, are we going to get called for it? Ooh, we didn't. We got outside the box just enough. So they double teamed my one main man beater right there. So I can't go to him. I was going to go to Horton over the middle, but they had a lingering linebacker. So that's the perfect defense, technically. Ooh, I could have went to him. That's my fault. I could have went to Horton. That's okay. Thankful we got outside the tackle box where we didn't get flagged. So we are... Let's go... Let's do an off-tackle run with Horton. They're blitzing both inside guys. Man, this ain't going to work. This ain't going to work. This is perfect defensive call. I don't have... We're on the road. They can't hear any of this. Let's just call a timeout. Uh, let's go offensive line. Uh, let's just pass while we're here. Let's just go curls. They're blitzing off the right nickel. And they're doing that. Ooh, this is going to be interesting. With four wide receivers. Didn't get it off in time, but that's halfway my fault. So it's third and goal from the nine. Uh, let's see, what can we do? I don't have that play call. Let's go back to halfback ankle. We're going man. I don't think we can get in the end zone. It's going to be really tough, really close. 
Get it, get it, son! Oh my gosh, what a throw! Woo! Oh, that was incredible! Incredible cover one beater! That was insane. I never throw to that guy either. Wow, what a great play this was. So they went cover one. You see the safety go over the middle. Now, I was more than willing to go over to my out route over there. But I just had a feeling. I said, let's just go in the corner. But the timing was perfect on this throw. Right where it needed to be. And, of course, we're throwing up to a 6'10's tight end. But look at this throw. Just insane. Oh, my gosh. What a play. Incredible. Wow, what a, an amazing throw. Whew, okay, that got me excited. Little stuff like that really gets me going in this game. <laughs> and that's, again, that's a rat that I I never throw to on that play. More times than not, it's such a hard throw to make, I just usually avoid it. And that worked out on that particular situation. Round the corner, too. Those are always fun to do when you're in the end zone. All right, let's get back on defense. Ah, uh, this is going to go to the impact guy. And they'll be returning this one. Everybody made good decisions. Nolan fields it get off. Get off. Good tackle. I'm sure the I want to check out their stats. What have they done on their play call? And they're three and six. So they are throwing more than they are running. So that was my initial thought. So we can stay in zone for now. And their quarterback hasn't, and he hasn't run away yet. He hasn't done any scrambling. Let's see if that continues. He's a big quarterback. I didn't look at his height and weight. Oh, that's right up the gut. Good play call. Uh, it forces me to kind of go back to man. We'll stay here. Counter. Good play. Good deal. Somebody came through. Poland. Second and 12. Uh, they're, I'm going. I'm, I'm taking a risk here. I'm going to go crash too. We're going to do a blitz. We'll see if this works or not. Oh, man. I, thankfully, they went all curls. That could have been a disaster. For whatever reason, my free safety got stuck. So it's third and seven. We got to get a stop on this one. Would love to get the ball back. See if we can stretch the lead a bit. Please don't run to the left. I think they're going to pass. No, they're going to just run the ball. Thank the Lord I switched. Uh, I spread out the defensive line. That's an interesting play call. I figured they would pass it, but I'll take it. Let's get back on offense and see if we can get another touchdown. Man, that last touchdown, that really got me excited. Makes me want to go back and practice, but I'm going to practice that some more. We'll see if he can return me. Nope, nope. <laughs> Go back and look at this. This is goofy. This is pure ad lib here. Just getting lucky. Great block there. I saw everybody and their brother coming at me right there. So let's go back around this way. Good block. Good block. Broke a tackle. And I was thinking, oh man, he may actually do something. Big. Great play by Peterson. We'll try to reward him later. So we're on the left hash. Let's let Miranda run the ball. Zone nickel. Ooh. Let's go to the right. Have to cut in. Just wow. Fumble. Fumble. No. no. And that'll be the last time he touches the ball today. I didn't do anything goofy. I could have protected the... But it's just a good play by the defense. That's all that is. I could get in the habit of trying to protect the ball again, but you remember what happened the last game? We protected the ball, what happened? He fumbled it. So it's all, you know, just look at the draw. And I just called cover three. Why did I do that? Let's see if we can survive it. I didn't mean to. I want to go quarters. There we go. Let's back out. Oh, good play. First down. That was all kinds of bad. I was all flustered on defense. Couldn't get the right play out. Let's go. I'm going to try another zone blitz. Do something like this. Somebody get him. First down. That's his first run of the day. We'll go quarters. 
give the quarterback a lot of credit. He made a great play. Very good chance they will score on this drive. I mean, just too much momentum going at the moment. Get him, get him. Good open field tackle. Let's go. Go back to man. This offense has had a little trouble scoring in the red zone. But those stats I have to do something like this. Play action. Good defense, Al. I was trying to get in front of it, but I got clogged up with a tight end. So it's third and seven. Oh, this is going to be interesting. They don't have a whole lot of room to work with. I'm going to do something like this. We're going to have a spy and just do like a complete max zone here. Good defense. We're going to force a field goal. Good job. All around. They probably could have ran the ball and scored, but we dropped eight. He couldn't find anybody open. Right down the middle, pretty easy kick for a really bad kicker, apparently. So we survived that. They can have that field goal. But we can't turn the ball over anymore. So Miranda may get one more touch the rest of the game, but we got to go back to Horton. Uh, we're going to take a chance on this one. Good hit. Left hash. I am going to pass the ball. It's on my mind. Let's go halfback circle. We're going zone. This should be interesting. I'd love to see a big gaping hole over the middle. Well, that didn't help things. Right guard moved. We will go back and let's just call the same play since we're behind the chains. They're going man this time. They're going dime. Please go cover zero. I'd love to stretch this field. Cover zero. Go, Myrick. Get it, get it, get it. Oh, good defense. Oh, wow, what a play. Wow, he got the tip and the interception. I get, I, I put as much English on as I could. I tried to throw it as hard as I could, but he slowed down, so it wasn't a good throw. But great play by the defender, and he picked it up. You rarely see that. Well, turnovers. They stink. So I would love to go back to Horton on this next drive whenever we get it. The problem is... We're not going to have enough time. We may have to rush down the field to score again. QB draw. Somebody get him. Thankfully, he had a high snap. I'll stay in quarters again. I didn't call. Uh, did I call a timeout? I didn't mean to do that. I hit the timeout button. I'm an idiot. Well, there goes one timeout. <laughs> the select button is right next to the right button on the D-pad. Another QB draw. Call the exact same play. So it's third and four. They're going with a big. Hmm. Let's go. Cover one. Third and four. Ball on the 44-yard line. They come out in a goal line set. On the ground. Oh my gosh! I was right there. Dang it! That was all my fault. I had a chance to get him in the backfield. They went with that wide receiver reverse play. Do something like this. There he goes. Somebody get him. Now he's just running all the time. So I need to just do more spy. We can try it. Now they're going. It's second and one here. They may just run it to pick up the first. Do something like this. Oh, halfback draw. That was a good play call. And they're calling a timeout. So here's what I'm thinking. I'm gonna, I, I honestly would prefer them to score quickly if they're going to. That way we can get the ball back. But I'm afraid they're going to chew up some clock here. We're not going to have a lot of time to do anything. Oh, look at that. Dang it. He's breaking tackles. Oh, man. Just a bad half for us. We're, I mean, we're very fortunate we're up four, I guess. But he can't have turnovers. I know what this play is. He's open on the wide, wide side. Yep. First and goal, 49 seconds. 
Uh, let's just... If I can get to it. Let's just go with an all-amp blitz. The Hokey. Line up in an eye formation. Do something like this, perhaps. Now, I have the halfback. Good stop there. They're going to keep that clock going, aren't they? They're going to hurry it up. They're going to call something stupid here. Watch this. I'm going to spread out. Please don't run up the middle. Ah, dang it. Went read. They're going to work. Dude, save the touchdown. Third and goal. Oh, my gosh. Call the same thing. Oh, call a timeout. We had an offsides guy. Did you see it right there? Oh, you can't go back and look for it. That's okay. Hurting. Oh, I don't know what to do here. We'll go man cover two. I can see him just running the ball. We'll just call something straightforward. Dang it. Oh, well. Like I said, it's another turnover. The bench was going to score on it. So we're down a field goal. But that's what happens when you turn the ball over. So we got 21 seconds, and we got, what, one timeout left? Maybe we can get lucky on a big gut run here by somebody. Let's see if Peterson can do something here. We need to get a block or two. Not bad. 17 seconds. We need to... I am going to... Let's go half back out. Go man. Okay, they're going man. I don't know who's on who. Uh, let's see. Oh, they went cover zero. Go, Riley! Get it! Get it! Get it! Huge play! Huge play! Ten seconds. I'm going to hurry up and spike it. I'm going to see if I can save that timeout. Four, eight, seven, six, five, four. Wow, we, we chewed up some seconds there, so it's on the five. Let's go. We're going to put our tight end in the slot. Let's go wide receiver curls. They're going man, they're blitzing the two inside guys. So what we're going to do... Oh, he can't hear that. Let's, um... Uh, that's fine. Let's do something like this. Get it, Horton. Ah, dang it. Man, I forgot about the time. Dang it, I should have just kicked a field goal. Okay, hopefully we can survive that. So we're down three. We're just playing awful. Just too many turnovers. Everything looks pretty normal across the board. Except, again, turnovers. Individual stats. Just quickly looking at this. Gates. Had the one bad throw. I guess it just wasn't quite good enough. Um, they're doing a good job shutting down Horton. Receiving, everybody and their brothers got to touch the ball at least a little bit. Defensively, everybody's kind of doing the same thing. Like, everybody's sharing the same defensive stats. So let's just get back into it. Man, I should have just kicked the field goal. That's all right. I'll blame myself if we lose by three or less. I'll let that one go. And let's go. Let's go to Horton. Zone 4-3. Not a big fan of any of that. Pick up, what, four maybe? Just not a lot there to work with. I'm going to go. Let's use Pero speed. We're going man. We may have another shot with a big gain. I'm not worried about... Ah, oh, dang it. Ah, we didn't get the first. Third and one. We can try slam with Horton. Zone 5-2. This is going to be interesting. Again, I'm not worried about the clock or anything. Let's just go ahead and just get the first down. Okay, let's pass the ball. We're going man. Who's on who? 
we can have Peterson going over the top if they do cover zero. They're going cover two, though. Good throw, and a... I mean, what do you do? Every one of my skill players are fumbling the ball. I have no answers for it. I mean, it's not your fault. It's just you get bad luck there. I mean, just, just got to keep playing. The Hokies line up with three wide. Half back draw. Thankfully, went to the fullback. Oh, just so frustrating. I guess we were due to having a bad game, and here it is where just nothing goes right. They'll work from the shotgun. Holt drops back to pass. He's looking. He throws a dart. Good defense, Al. Get in front of it, son. Okay, we. Ha I don't. It's third and ten. We got to get a stop here, force a field goal. If we can, I'm going to do a spy. He is a righty. So we'll spy the right end, or technically the left. Okay, let's force the field goal. So uh, we got to figure out what to do on offense. I, I have no answers for it when everybody just decides to fumble it, drop it, whatever. Just. We gotta overcome it somehow. See what they do here. The kick is up. And it is good. That's I'm gonna try to keep giving it to Horton more, I guess. So he's our best chance, unless they just show us some good looks against some other guys like Pero. I'm afraid to throw it if we keep fumbling or interceptions. It's just our passing game is struggling this year. I'm gonna let that one go. There's nowhere to go on that one. This one's gonna be down in the end zone for a touchdown. Let's try. Another toss with Horton. Man 4-3. We're doing that. Uh, I don't mind going to the right. See if that helps a little bit there. Look at this. Perfect defense. I mean, just there's nothing you could... I mean, they're just shutting us down. I have no answers for that. Let's try... A slam with Horton. I'm trying to give it to my best player, but they're just getting in good spots. And that's perfect defense right there. I have no answers for this one, unless we get good blocking. We are going to get lucky on here. So, they moved around a ton right there. Thankfully, we were going in the right direction, heading to the left, and we'd get some yards. But at least we got the first. Oh, goodness. All right, we are on the left. Uh, what can we call I want to see if we can go back to Horton. For the going man nickel, this is going to go to him if possible. And he can't hear that. The crowd isn't even going. Whatever. Let's just do something like this. Get a first down with Horton. Just enough. They just didn't make the play on the ball. You're right. It wasn't He's a bad gas. Let's go half back out. And it's going to go back to him. Dang it. I thought I had somebody else in this formation, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and snap it. Just don't fumble it. Now, he's going to be out for a little bit after this play. He should be. Wow, well, let's give him a break. We can go back to Perro, see if we can get to the outside. But they're going man dime. I like the shift. Now they're double teaming him. We can do something like this. And what's going on, everybody? Gee whiz. I mean, I, what's the deal? Gosh, we're playing so awful. Like everything is stacking. I don't understand it, but it is. I don't we're gonna to try to get a first down here. He can't hear it. Man, nobody can hear anything. See, he still can't hear it. People have told me, do it multiple times. Maybe he can hear that one. I don't know. But we're going to go over to the left. And he drops it. Of course. I swear. Why does everybody have to play awful at once? Is it because it's, is this our letdown game where just nothing goes right? We just came off a big win over a top 12 team. Just frustrating. 
That's a good punt. We need some luck. Somebody do something stupid. Somebody fumble it. We need something to happen on defense. I mean, the quarter's about over with. I mean, this game's heading into the fourth really quick. QB draw. Had to come down to make the tackle. I'm going to stay in quarters. They seem determined to, to try to open up the pass game as best they can. Nope. Basic run up the gut. Almost get the first. Now they're going to go goal line. And I'm correct. We'll just everybody come down here. They come out in a goal line set. We need a stop. Somebody make a play. Dang it! Dang it! Dang it! I swing her. It doesn't matter. They're just going to make their plays today, aren't they? Oh, it kills me. I just I I don't mind bad things happening, but it doesn't all have to happen in one game. They don't have to shove it in one game and everything go gray in the other games. When it's it just stacks on you. I feel like I'm playing 07 with a momentum meter. We gotta overcome it. I don't have an answer on offense. We keep throwing the ball over. We're gonna have to get lucky. So cross your fingers. We're gonna, we're gonna figure out something. Barely got 25 yards there. We can try another run with Horton. Ah, oh, just perfect shift. Wow, they're just playing perfect football today, aren't they? I swear, that just aggravates me to no end. When they just do everything correct. Oh, they about messed us up again. Get the first. Almost got to my quarterback on that play. Okay, let's go. I'm going to go post-cross. I forgot about that safety being an impact guy. We gotta hurry this up. Let's go. Mitt, nope. Oh, we got lucky. Who? Thank the Lord that free safety didn't get there in time. Good throw to Myrick. Horton is gas. I might have to put Perro back in. Let's go ahead. Love the shift. Come on, let's get a touchdown here. Get a block right there. Six points. Oh, okay. At least we got something going. If we still lose, then at least we attempted a positive thing in the second half. So let's kick an extra point, go down six. We'll get back on defense, try to figure out something there. So I wonder, now that they're in the fourth quarter, they're going to be more after running the ball. Oh, man, can we survive this game? There's still plenty of time. we got a full quarter. But just a big hole we're coming back out of. We need some more good plays. That could have been a disaster. Good run. Let's go quarters. Going gun trips. Don't run to the left. QB draw. Oh, they called the sprint play, which is fine. Second and 14. They ran the ball there. They, I don't know if they're going to run here. They're behind the chains big time. That's why I went quarters. I assume they're going to throw. They're going to run the ball. Okay, third and long. It's end of the third quarter. This is a key play right here. They need 13 yards to get the first down. I'm going to send four guys. I don't think that quarterback's quick. No, he's going for it. Ooh, just a good deal. Just short of it. So we're going to get the ball back. I'll do a double cross. I think they would come in to protect if I try to go all out block. We need a really bad punt here on the left. 
Kick it to the left. That's not bad. Let's get a block or two on the right. Nope, just don't fumble it. All right. Okay, let's think about this. Let's do a slam of Horton. Man 4-3. Who's going to be on the slot? That guy. But they're giving us no choice. we got to go to the right. Good defense. We got a few yards at least. I'm going to run some clock. And we're going zone. Mm. And no, uh, let's just uh, probably let's just go ahead and snap it. Come, here, come on, good defense. Just nobody blocked. Third and nine. We'll go half back corner. And this is gonna be a tough one. We gotta hurry up and snap this one. Cover two. Oh my gosh. Huh? 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 I was fixing to get sacked. I threw it off my back foot. <sighs> Let's go RB deep. We're going man. We're going cover one at least. Balk and hear this. Cover one. What's going on? My best wide receiver dropping two straight passes. Gosh. So frustrating. Perfectly good throws. Big play, son. Let's get out of bounds. Okay. We're on the right hash steal. First and ten. Let's go back to Horton. We're going man dime. Double team. If I do this, they'll probably bring somebody else over. That's okay. Let's go ahead and snap it. Get about three or four, maybe. Let's give him a break because we may need him in the third. On third down. So our tosses have worked well as long as we get good protection. Now I'm going to go to the right here. They go with the option. We're going to let Perro handle this. And he shoved out of bounds. And the halfback ripped off a nice pair okay. to get him the first. Hey, this kid's a good looking back. Let's see if they go to him again. I am. Here's. I got to do at least for this game. Let's go to formation subs. I can put Miranda back in later. As long as I don't forget it. But we're going to have Horton give him another formation to work with. So we don't have to do eye formation all the time. Man nickel. Well, I know who's defending me. We're going to have to go to the right. Ah, just nowhere to go. Good defense. Good play. Second and goal. Now, I could run some clock, but I think there's still a ton of time left. They got loads of chances to make a play beyond this. Good block there. Get in the end zone. Oh, my gosh, what a game. We got out of the hole. Now I won't get upset if we lose. I was going to get real upset if things just kept getting worse and worse and worse. But So at least we was able to come back. So if Virginia Tech wins, and that's, you know, fine. But we're about to get the lead. Let's get that extra point. Simple, right down the middle. Our defense is really playing well at the moment. Let's see if they can keep it up. My kicker's all excited. Things were looking bleak about 15 minutes ago, but we somehow crawled out of it. This is a pretty good kick where I won it. And he's going to have a touchback. That's a really good kick by Hood. At this point, let's go quarters. We can go back and look at their stats. I think... They are running the ball a whole lot more, so maybe I need to go back to man. And I, it always felt like they were throwing the ball more, but maybe they weren't. Tech. Ooh, let's know they're going to do the off tackle. Nope. Intercept that. Pick up a few yards. So maybe they are in passing mode at this point. 
I'm not going to blitz. I don't think it's worth it. I'd rather have an extra guy in the back. And I think that quarterback will run with it. Fullback dive. Get a stop. Got the first. Fell forward. Go back to quarters. It's first and ten. Ball on the thirty. They come out with three wide receivers. Let's do something like this. Here he goes. Good stop by Nichols. Great play right there. So he got his sack on the day. We go back to quarters. Second and thirteen. And I didn't have to use a spy either. Back to throw. Get him. Oh, another big play. I think he tried to run away with it. I didn't see it. Third and 14. So what I'm going to do, we are going to go back to cloud. But I'm not going to do any spies. That's going to be a lot of yards for him to try to pick up on his own. He couldn't get it the last time. And he's going to get sacked again. Now, they're going to go for it here. They got no choice, really. Yep, they got no choice. Huge play right here. This is going to be a seizing ending type se play right here if we don't convert or don't get the stop. Huge play. Ah, our front four stepped up on that tire drive. Huge. Nichols came through. He had all time to throw, so that's kind of on the quarterback. He needs to make a play. But Nichols kept it going, and look where we're at. We're on the 15-yard line. Big play. All right, now we can run clock. Now, they're going to call a bunch of timeouts. They're going 5-2, man. I like the shift. I think I'm going to leave it as he is. Let's go over here. Get a block right there. Get a first down. Call a timeout. So, we're on the six. I'm going to go back to Horton. We're going to go back to Slam. Zone 4-3. You know who's going to get the ball every single time on this drive. Might as well. Give it to 29. Get a couple yards there. Well, let's go offensive line. I'm going to go dive. I'm not going to do any toss. It's not worth it. Just hand off. Hand off every time. Man 4-3. The clock is stopped. Let's go back to the right. Touchdown. Huge gaping hole between the left guard and the center. Just a big play right there. Okay. We are up seven. I'm about to go up eight. See, this is what championship teams do. They find a way to win ball games. And this is going to be one of them this year. Unless, you know, Virginia Tech, this game is nowhere near over. There's a minute and a half. They are more than capable on offense going down the field and scoring. But... National championship-like teams do have games like this where you find a way, and this may go out of bounds. Kicks it off. Yep, it's going out of bounds. So they're going to get good field position. Good job, Al. We're going to stay in quarters. This quarterback is struggling to get out of the pocket. He gets really antsy if, like, his first read isn't open. I'm not going to do any... Spies, we haven't had to. That last drive, we was uh, there. He goes again. Look at that, another sack. Ah, front four, baby. How about that defensive line? Keeping them. Oh my gosh, just great. Good job by everybody there. They're gonna hurry this up. They're gonna call something really goofy, and they're gonna lose this game because of it. Option. That's actually not a bad call by them, with the talent they have. Now they're gonna call the same thing. I'm going to let him do it. Ooh, they finally decided to get out of it. So let's go clown at a nickel. I'm not going to do a spy. We're doing fine without it. Another sack. Jeez, our front four. And what did I say at the beginning of the game? Their offensive line was their biggest weakness. And that's what we're seeing. It finally came to light. Going with the deep. This is actually a decent play call. But it's not good enough. Game over. So we survived it. Somehow we came back. Just 
Kudos to Virginia Tech for making it a struggle for us. Uh, let's. Uh, they got one timeout left with 31 seconds. Let's go QB Neal. They will call a timeout, then we will just go back to the victory formation. Oh my gosh. I was just scared to death that we wasn't going to come out of this one. Things were looking awful at halftime. Early in the third quarter, even worse. But we just stuck with it. Six, five, and four. There we go. So we are... We don't have to call any more plays. Hopefully we'll get a commitment from Long. That'd be nice, that tackle. Hopefully this will be enough to convince him. Shoot, what a game. It was entertaining, but frustrating at the same time. <laughs> oh, wow. So we've survived. So the hunt for a national championship is still there. And we got over that Virginia Tech hump, which again, I think we played them last year and they beat us. Oh, okay. Oh, this is pretty cool. For a, a regular season game, that shouldn't happen. When we've got to act like we're on a business trip, act like we've been here. But it's still pretty neat to see. I would love to use that as a thumbnail, but we can't. Because you'll know out of the thumbnail what happened in the game. All right, let's go and check out some stats. Second half. We just found a way to come back and get the victory. That's how we got more yards than they did. We didn't even run clock or anything. That's what, The only reason I didn't run clock is because I could tell their offense just couldn't do enough to uh, back, you know, keep away from us on the scoreboard. So I'm like, okay, well, as long as we don't turn the ball over, we'll be fine. The problem is we turned the ball over a ton. We have three turnovers, so they're one. But this is the key right here. Six sacks to zero. It was all in the second half. Our front four really stepped up, and we took advantage of their weak offensive line. You go down here, uh, third down, we played a lot better than they did. Uh, fumbles, uh, just bad on our part. Uh, none of that really says anything to me. Let's go to individual stats. 11-17 for Gates, one touchdown, a beautiful touchdown to Parker, but the one interception, just threw it just a tad short. Great play by that safety or the corner. Running the ball, Horton. I had to give him the ball as much as possible today. It was just up to him. We didn't get, I guess, didn't do it enough in the first half, and uh, we paid for it. But he came out, got a couple touchdowns. Perro done really well. The few times we got to give him the ball, we made it work for us. Uh, receiving, Horton, Myrick, Peterson. Everybody looks like they've done a halfway decent job. But poor Riley. I feel bad for the kid. He's our best wide receiver, and he had two crucial drops. We overcame one of them. You look at the defense. Nichols and McCoy led in tackles. Tackles for loss. Nichols, Ogabasi, and Poland. Our defensive line, look at that. Defensive end is incredible. Good for them. And look at all these sacks. Two for Ogabasi, two for Nichols, one for Bailey, and one for Poland. And we got one interception from Gallagher in the end zone, which was a really nice play. All right, let's get out of here. As you can tell, Sergey Long did not commit again. We can check out the recruiting here in a little bit. But let's talk out the top 25 scores first. Of course, we beat Virginia Tech. Then you got Michigan over Wisconsin. Texas over Baylor. Nebraska over Kansas. Then you have Tennessee beating Auburn. Uh, Washington State upsets USC. Then Oregon State over Arizona. South Carolina over Ole Miss. Then you have Florida over Kentucky. Virginia over Maryland. Ohio State over Temple. Texas A&M over Kansas State. And Penn State over Purdue. Florida State over Georgia Tech. So Florida State's having a really good season. Oregon over Stanford. Then you have Arizona State over Washington. Texas Tech barely beats Oklahoma and arguably the game of the week, I guess, outside of maybe ours. Then you got Minnesota over Illinois. And last but not least, Miami over NC State, 41-7. to Now let's go back and check out that recruiting really quick. Again, Long, he still, it's a soft verbal. I guess that last win wasn't good enough. Hopefully the next win will uh, get us over the top there. But we will deal with that in the next video. So speaking of, our next game is against, it's going to be the play of the or game of the week in the, in the country, against Miami, number six versus number one. We are now number one in the country after that win. 
uh, I guess another big win like that helped us get over that. I, I didn't see other big upsets, though, in the top 25. So who knows what happened there? It doesn't matter. We may have a couple undefeated teams right there with us. Going to be a huge matchup. We beat them last season. We had to get over that hump. Now look at their defense. Their defense is the best in the country. I know it says six total defense, but they are sixth in rush defense, 15th in pass. That's incredible. Our defense is pretty good as well. But you look at the talent. We've matched up with them talent-wise, so we are right there with them. Uh, looks like their offense is pretty solid. It's going to be a heck of a game. Hopefully we can win. All right, guys. I'll talk to you later.